How to install the double take Max 6 Cruise rear seat onto a club car precedent. Each seat back support has been labeled with a P for passenger side or a D for driver side. The longer end of the base should face to the rear. Use M8 by 40 hex bolts and flat washers to secure the seat back supports to the precedent chassis at the factory mounting points. It's important to make sure to tighten the bolts alternately until you have a flush fit. Position the rear seat back plates on the mounted seat back supports with the column of slotted holes facing to the inside. Align the first and third bevel holes marked CC-P with the corresponding holes in the seat back supports and secure with quarter by one and three quarter inch flathead Phillips bolts, flat wire, and nylon nuts. Fully tightened hardware. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Seat back plates are required for installing all double take cushion backs. The front seat back plates install the same way as the rear seat back plates, with one exception. Make sure to install the black spacer between the plate and seat back support and the top hole on both plates. Use quarter by one and three quarter inch flathead Phillips bolts with flat washers and nylock nuts and fully tighten. Repeat these steps for the opposite side. Now install the track top rear frames. While the cushion backs are not installed, for easier access to the mounting points. Use quarter by one three quarter inch hex bolts, flat washers and nylock nuts to attach the rear frames to the seat back supports. Secure hardware, but do not fully tighten. Leave a little play so that the rear frames can be adjusted later during the track top installation. Install front seat back cushion with the four threaded studs screwed into the innermost holes. Mount the front seat back cushion to the slotted holes on the front seat back plates. The slotted holes allow you to determine your seat back height. Secure each threaded stud with a flat washer and nylock nut and fully tighten. Install the Max 6 Cruise rear seat onto the precedent as a fully assembled unit. For safety, have two people position the cruise bumper angle onto the golf cart bumper while connecting the rear seat to the seat back supports. Connect the seat base brackets with the pre-installed quarter by one and a half inch hex bolts to the seat back supports and secure with flat washers and nylock nuts. Fully tighten hardware. Secure the bumper angle to the car bumper with quarter by two and a half inch hex bolts, fender washers, flat washers, and nylock nuts. Load the fender washers onto the bolts first and then insert the bolts through the bumper from inside the bag wheel. 
secure with flat washers and nylock nuts, and fully tighten. Install the rear seat back cushion the same way as the front seat back cushion. Install the four threaded studs into the back of the cushion, then insert the threaded studs through the slotted holes and the seat back plates, and secure with flat washers and nylock nuts. To install the rear seat bottom cushion, begin by flipping the seat over with the label side towards you. Screw in the temporary stud into the center hole closest to you and then slip the seat strap over it. Hold the seat strap in place while you turn the cushion over to align the stud with the center hole of the rear of the folding cushion plate on the seat base. Keep a firm grip on the cushion and tilt the seat base up close to vertical. Insert the flathead Phillips screws to secure the cushion to the cushion plate and then tighten all screws uniformly. Finally, remove the temporary stud and insert the last screw. Make sure the screw goes through the seat strap and tighten the screw. You have successfully installed the Max 6 Cruise rear seat on the Club Car Precedent golf car. Now it's time to complete the long track top installation. Double take, because looks matter.